frontal cortex. We have not determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron! This bandicoot will be my general, and he will lead my cortex commandos to world domination. This time I shall reign triumphant! We are closer than ever before! Quickly! Into the vortex! The Dr. Cortex, the vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> Failure again. Capture him! Uh-oh. Prepare the female bandit. Hello and welcome to 60 Second Retro Game. I am Simon Pryor. Joining me are Ant Tremaine and Mr. Rich Hassan. Hello. Hello. Okay. It's scary, Ant. Mm. Scary. You're in one of those moods tonight. I am. He looks very tired. Yeah. I'm just a little... Uh, he's there's very a, there's a little bit of a smidgen of my hangover from this morning still. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's looking a lot better. Yeah. I'll uh, say that. It's a lot better than I did this morning. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what well, turned up on the doorstep? Oh, God almighty. Yeah. So today we're talking about Crash Bandicoot for the PS1, no, no, no. Sony's early it's mascot. Yeah, mascot. yeah. yeah he's so. the closest I think they've ever really got. Apart they, from, yeah, for, for the kids anyway. Yeah, I think they tried to, to have a mascot with Spyro, but it didn't really work. Spyro. No. Simple Spyro. He looks very special in the new Yeah, games. he does. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Crash Bandicoot for the PS1, classic game. I remember going into town when I was younger. Back when I had pocket money of five pounds a week. Oh, for the, I remember uh, them days. You were, the, you were, you were lucky. I, I used was. to only have a pound a week. Oh, a bit off my nanny granddad. So oh, well, yeah. there you go. You see, I was never. Yeah. Given such royalties by my no. parents. So, uh, but I remember going into town. I saved up for a month, and I went and bought the platinum edition of the game, which is the version I still have in its beaten up case. <laughs> It's, several years down it's still, it, yeah. It, oh, okay. oh. <laughs> and there we go. Oh. It's literally <laughs> just falling apart. Time live, has taken its toll. Live on the podcast, but it doesn't matter. The game still works. The game works yes. with its black disc. Yeah, which yeah. Um, initially, actually, my PS2 wouldn't read it. It didn't like black discs. Sir. It was a bit of a racist PS2 that one. <laughs> Um, but it was towards the end of its life anyway, and then eventually it stopped reading most a bit, discs. A bit, a bit like uh, old women. Yeah. How did they put it? Brown people. Brown people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's um, that, that that was the thing with my my PS2 um, back in the day. Some discs, it was mostly the black discs. You had to turn the console up di- upside down for it to read the disc, and then it I just stopped it. working at all. Yeah. So um, mm-hmm. yeah, so that's why I switched over to the slim. Yeah. I've still got my big fat bastards. But I did use mine to play DVDs. I think that may have killed it. Uh, so uh, it's my own fault. Yeah. My own fault. But yeah, we're talking about Crash. Yes. So uh, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Naughty Dogs. Early, first, no, first, no, it wasn't their first one. It was their first big one. Because they did a couple of projects. Because I was looking up Naughty Dog. Yeah. The night. They did a couple of projects before that. Their logo was awful. <laughs> Back in the old days. But... Uh, Back Crash in the Bandicoot. days of pre-internet for everyone. Yes. Uh, Back was, when I uh, didn't have the internet, so I can't imagine the time. No, it was pretty cool. I, I looked. It's just like this really bad-looking dog. That was it, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> but it was uh, it was their first big game, and my God, what a game it was! It's a very good game indeed. I, I quite like the um, the humour of it. Really works. Yeah, it's not a serious game at all. It's a very very silly, simple. To say the least. Yeah, I mean, in essence, uh, it's um, it's a platformer from every angle, really, yeah. isn't it? So you've got going into the screen, coming coming into the screen, left left to right, up and down, um, riding a variety of uh, animals along the way. There's only one in the first one. Well, There's yeah, hog. that's true. Hog wild. Yes. Yeah. And then there was, uh, well, there's, there's, there's the other occasional boss battle as well. There's, uh, uh, you run across the screen sometimes as well. Yeah, that's um, that's about it. Yeah, really. <laughs> um, and that, that was the end of the podcast. Like you've been listening. Yeah. Um, I mean, the game was originally released in 1996. Yeah, so it's 15 years old this Whoa. year. 
and the platinum platinum edition didn't come out until 1998, so it must have been around my birthday in 98 that I bought it. Okay. I remember so, playing the demo of it and going, "Oh wow, this is badass." I mean, the the good thing about the game now is you can buy it on the PlayStation Network and transfer it to your PSP if anyone mm. still has a PSP. I just buy them off my PSP on the network on yeah. PSP and, then and just play the. I mean. I did that with Final Fantasy 7 so I could play on my PSP on the go it's like oh. Jesus did you need then need another PSP to play other games on no no I bought, bought a one. big memory card oh <laughs> so, it's all good it's all good it's three discs worth. Um, but yeah um, so the story basically goes that uh, Dr. Neo Cortex and his henchman Dr. Nitrous Brio or Brio I think it's Brio the ga- uh, story follows Crash uh, who's been uh, tampered with by Dr. Neo Cortex <laughs> <laughs> For want of a better term. Yeah. Uh, and he's trying to save his girlfriend Torna, a female bandicoot, uh, also evolved by Dr. Cortex. Um, it's I mean, it doesn't reinvent the wheel. No. I'll say that much. No, but the the style and the humour of the game and the fact that it's not clunky. No, it works very and he doesn't suffer right. from platformitis no. at all. Which is good. Although, I will say this, if he's been tampered with <laughs> Sorry. That's what Dr. Cortex did. If he, if he, if he, if he, In what way does he tamper with him? Genetic genetically. Uh, right. Crash, show me on the on the Bandicoot doll where Dr. Cortex touched you. Yes. Where did he tamper with you? Um, he then where did his sister... <laughs> where, where did his sister come from in the second one? Or did they uh, they just introduced in? a family Donkey Kong style. Yeah, why not? Oh, it's all very well saying where did the sister come from. You look at Donkey Kong, they just invented a family. Yes, it's true. But, but then, then they have to ask the question, where did Donkey Kong come from? Well, yes, it's all the chicken and the egg story, isn't it? Which came first? He like came from egg. Mrs. Kong. You never know. Did the, who laid the egg? A slightly different chicken who wasn't quite as evolved. Yes. There you go. Oh. Pardon me. Basically, it's um, the, I think the the story behind the game and all the levels is that Crash is either running to somewhere or running from the previous mm. villain that he's just defeated or something. So I think that's the reason why he's going through all, all of these levels. And there's quite a nice. Um, I mean, you could just skip <coughs> the middle island and just go straight to the third. Yeah. One, but... but where's the fun in that? Oh yeah. So I mean, uh, it's a typical platform game, a platform game really, because you click. Oh, excuse me, I've just uh, had a bit of a hiccup. <laughs> you um, you collect Wampa fruit, which are essentially apples. apples. <coughs> um, you collect power ups, which is the Aku Aku mask. Yes. To uh, if you collect three of them, then without being hit by an enemy, then you collect um, you brief them. invulnerability, yeah. much like uh, in essence it uses Super Mario Brothers as its, as its template, mm. doesn't it? Wampa fruit are coins. Uh, the Aku Aku mask is the um, uh, the star in Mario. Yeah. Um, Mind you, the same could be said for Sonic, though, as well. Yeah, exactly. well, Sonic's different, though, because all you're doing is just running through, whereas Mario, there's... Yeah, yeah. But you're still collecting of... stuff and, and getting yeah. power-ups. It's, it's all typical... Um... Is that a bandicoot? It's a bandicoot. But, oh. Paramelia's goonie. So bandicoots aren't orange. No, they're brown. But they and, do have a big nose. And they yeah. don't wear blue shorts. No. Or brown Or act shoes. in a cocky manner. No. <laughs> Or have families. Oh no, they're probably dead. Uh, yes. But yeah, I mean, crash, <laughs> crash himself as well. He has um, the usual sort of moves as well, doesn't he? He's, he's sort of, you know, jump, spin jump, attack. Yeah, jumping on enemies. Yeah. Spinning at them. And you've you've got more moves that were later created from that as well, like the the sliding attack and stuff like that on, on later games. I was going to say, I don't not they, in this they, game. No, this they game. weren't in this one. No. I'm not saying in this game. Yeah, just it didn't. evolved when it got to uh, Wrath of Court. No. Yeah. Wrath of Cortex was the second one, or is that a later one? Um, two is, I think, Cortex Strikes Back. That's the one, yeah. Wrath and of then Cortex three is, is the PS2 one. Crash of the. No, three no. was Wrath. Wrath of Cortex. Uh, Sorry. Warped. 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 Yeah, I remember. I mean, I, I've I've always enjoyed Crash. You know, I've never finished that first game. I have ever. It took me a very, very long time, but I eventually yeah. did finish it. Had to cheat a little bit here and there, but not on all the levels. I mean, I did play like ninety percent. Well, no, ninety nine percent of it. I had to skip a couple that were yeah. really annoying. But. 
Well, there's a whole franchise that that stemmed out of it as well, which was uh, rather good in, yes. in that respect as well. Although so I've only played the, the PlayStation only, only ones. the ones done by Naughty Dog, though, because yeah. it sort of lost its way once Naughty Dog. Yeah, I've, I've never played any of the ones when it branched onto PS2. I didn't bother with them after that because yeah. I knew Naughty it's, Dog had left. It's so. probably telling that he's not really on PS3 yet. Yeah, I don't think he will. To be honest, I think there was a game, but I, actually, no, I think it was an Xbox One. What Crash Bandicoot? Yeah. Well, I, mean, I couldn't tell you which one it was could called. Could be Crash, no, Crash of the Titans maybe? Because yeah. I know they've redesigned him a little bit now and he's got like stripes and tattoos and whatnot. Yeah. I was like, oh, what have you done? They turned him into a gangster. Yeah, essentially, yeah. It's crap. But, I mean, I'm surprised they haven't tried to make a film out of it. Like a CGI film or something. Which yeah. I'd imagine they, they, they may do eventually. I mean, I imagine they could probably work it if they did it properly. But, I don't know. I think that when Naughty Dog left, Crash should have stopped. It's dead, <laughs> you know. Well, Traveller's Tales developed it for uh, 2001 and 2004, did games in the series. Yeah, yeah. Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart 2 was the last release in May last year. Yeah, was that on PS2, was it? Uh, PS3, I think. Oh? Right, okay. Um, main series, Crash Bandicoot, Cortex Strikes Back and Warped. Mm-hmm. Or PlayStation, Wrath of Cortex, developed by Traveller's Tales, uh, Twin Sanity, Crash of the Titans, and Crash Mind Over Mutant. Oh, God. That was on the Xbox 360 and the PS2 back in 2008. Crash Team Racing, Crash Nitro Kart, Crash Tag Team Racing, Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart 3D, and Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart 2, which was out on the iPhone. So that was the last release. Right. So um, they couldn't have just left it at Crash Team Racing. Then. And Party, Crash Bash, and Crash Boom Bang. <laughs> See, the last one I played <clears throat> on PlayStation was Crash Bash. I don't yeah. remember there being any more after that on PlayStation. Because so that, was, that was the last one Naughty Dog did. So yeah, it's not on uh, not on the PS3. No. But I mean, I I have all of the, the uh, Naughty Dog PS, uh, PS1 games. Yeah, they are good Naughty so. Dog ones. But I mean, you just... From the sounds of things, it just looks like it's got silly, and they've tried to give it the kiss of life for too long to a franchise that perhaps should be let go. <laughs> it's dead, Jim. Yeah, <laughs> to say for one of a better term, yeah. it's just it's it's like like I said before about um, if 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 it's been out yet, now I won't say it just in case I don't date it. Um, but I've said it before about other franchises that. It, they should just stop. It's like Tomb Raider needs to stop. Maybe yeah. stop rebooting it. Just leave it alone. It's if you do a reboot, time. reboot it properly, which I think is what they're doing. But they should have done that back. Yeah, they should have. Although Legend was a really good game, but that's yeah. for another podcast. It's that's like, just maybe. Yeah, it's like if something doesn't do well, they tend these days to just reboot it or just try something different. It's like if it doesn't work, stop. Stop, stop trying, for a bit. Yeah, and then if it's broken, don't fix it. Just leave it broken. <laughs> You know, it just annoys me when they do that, and I think they've done it with Crash as well. Burned him into the ground. Yes, they have. I mean, I can't speak for the later PS2 games. I mean, I may acquire them for later review, perhaps. Yeah. I haven't played any. I'm, I might get Wrath of Cortex at some point because I've been quite interested to see what it was like. But then I found out Naughty Dog didn't do it, and I gave up on it. Mm. And I heard it. I don't know. If, so I think someone told me it wasn't very good. Yeah, well, it's Traveller's Tales, so I mean, I think they should just stick to making Lego games, yeah. to be honest. Or not. Or stop not. making Lego games. Yeah, yeah. stop making Lego make par- games. Make Lego Pirates of the Caribbean and then leave it at that. But they won't, going. though. No, I know. They'll carry on. They're, they're, they're doing a Lego MMO. And Lego MMO, I mean, on what? Massive multiplayer. Like online. Warcraft. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, MMO. Get up to speed, Anthony. I don't play World of Bloody Warcraft. You should, know what if you play are. games, you should at least know what an MMO, MMO I f- is. I see it in magazines and go, what the chuffing has an MMO? MMO RPG. I know what an RPG is. Yeah, so Final add Fantasy. MMO, massively I, multiplayer online oh. role-playing game. Oh, okay. I, I avoid RPGs. <sighs> Children today, oh. honestly. So, anything else to say about Crash Bandicoot on the PS1? Uh, Other than it's a lot of fun and worth... Yeah. Buying second hand copy of or buying off the PlayStation Network. Yeah. It's music's fun as well. Yeah. It has fun like Caribbean esque music, even though it's apparently based on the coast of Australia. From what I've Crikey, faced. mate. Yeah. The three island three uncharted islands, which is somewhat coincidental judging by the series they then went on to make later on. Yeah. Um, off the coast of Australia somewhere. 
It was like, but the music is uh, it's quite fun. I don't know who wrote it, couldn't tell you, but a lot of money, but I know it, it, it complements the game quite well. Yeah, it, it's um, it's a bit daft as well, but I mean, with, with regards to acquiring the, the second and third games, because obviously I didn't have money to buy the games at the time, so uh, eBay was my friend um, recently. Yeah. Too much so, as, as, <laughs> as you well know. Far too many games to play, not enough time to play them in, but hey ho. Um, but Crash Bandicoot was the, the one game that I bought at the time, and it wasn't until many years later that I bought 2 and 3 and um, Crash Team Racing. Mm. So, um, whilst I had played them at the time, I didn't, hadn't actually owned them at the time. So, um, it yeah. So, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good series to play, um, especially this one. Enjoy it for its uh, quirky sense of humour and the fact that it's ripping off most platform games yeah. released up until and, that time. Yeah, and if you leave the menu too long, you get the intro yeah, the actual sequence. story. Yeah. That will tell you the story if you really are that interested. Why they did that, I don't know. I don't know. They should have just put it before the main menu, but yeah. okay. what are you going to do? I ain't going to follow That's them. That's the other thing before we uh, wrap up. The, the other thing I liked about the Naughty Dog Crash games is that the music started on the, the anti-piracy warning. Yeah, I liked that as well. Sort of and they actually, into it straight yeah. away. Quite good. Can't skip any of it. No, but what are you going to do? Yeah. Just wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit there and be patient. Yeah. So, right, uh, I think that wraps everything up on that game. Um, thank you for listening. If you have been, don't forget to check out randomstoke.com for videos, podcasts, and for our email address if you'd like to get in touch with us. That's info at randomstoke.com. Thank you for listening if you have been, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>